hello everyone welcome to my channel now we are here to study about AOG chapter that's the physiological changes during pregnancy at first you have to know what is pregnancy pregnancy is the uh, time from the begins from the time of conception up to the childbirth delivery okay so uh, as the pregnancy takes place uh, baby comes in the womb of a mother uh, so there is so many physiological changes takes place in case in mother okay now study so that's the changes in the pregnant mother that's the physiological changes okay at first we discuss about the genital organ changes in case of pregnancy at first we discuss about the vulva the vulva become edema touch and more vascular the vulva uh, become is the vascularity of the vulva is increased the supply of the blood supply of the artery and veins are increased in ca in the vulva so the it's become edematous and superficial varicocytes may appear especially in multipara you know what is varicocytes varicocytes is uh, there is uh, a varicose vein okay uh, that's become edema, that's become enlarged that's become edematous uh, it it is very uh, Conformly seen in multipara cases. So you know what is multipara? Multipara means the woman gets pregnant before. Means uh, more than one time pregnancy is known as multipara. Okay, like that you want to ask that uh, what is uh, uh, when the woman get first time pregnancy is known as what? That's primigravida. Okay, then labia minora are pigmented and hypertrophied. And the labia minora is uh, the color of the labia minor has changed and it will become hypertrophy you know what is hypertrophy hypertrophy means the cells are become enlarged okay then then what the then discussed about the bhajana bhajanal walls become hypertrophy edematous and more vascular the bhajanal walls hypertrophy the cells are become enlarged and the uh, it become edematous due to the increased the vascularity of the vagina then increased blood supply of the venous plexus surrounding the wall gives the bliss coloration of the mucosa okay is the uh, you know in our body the veins are like the bluish color okay is uh, uh, in surrounding of our vagina there is so many venous plexus so is uh, the vascularity is also increased so there is uh, a bluish coloration appear in the vagina okay you can see that bluish coloration is uh, mentioned in this picture okay this is the mucosa of the vagina and the bluish color the slightly bluish color is seen in vagina that's known as jacumet sign okay otherwise it's known as also chadwick sign okay then the length of the anterior wall of the vagina is also increased in case of pregnancy then secretion you know uh, in uh, in women uh, the secretion of vaginal secretion is uh, very normal but uh, if there change in the color or consistency then it's get abnormal okay like that uh, in pregnancy also there is uh, some changes in the secretion vaginal secretion the secretion become copious thin curdy white due to the marked exfoliated cells and bacteria okay then the pH of the vaginal secretion become acidic that's uh, about 3.5 to 6 due to more conversion of the glycogen into lactic acid by the lactobacillus acidophilus consequent high estrogen level due to the high estrogen level in our in the case of the pregnant woman the um, lactobacillus acidophilus uh, changes uh, more the glycogen to lactic acid so the ph of the vaginal secretion is gets acidic more acidic uh, normally the vaginal secretion is acidic but uh, uh, in case of preg pregnancy that become more acidic okay the acidic ph prevent multiplication of the pathogenic organism um, in uh, you know in normal women the uh, vaginal secretion is acidic to uh, prevent from the uh, multiplication of the pathogenic organism or any type of infection is that pot is open to the womb where the baby is growth that's very important to pre uh, prevent the entry of the microorganism and the multiplication of the microorganism in that area and or inter enters to the area where the baby is growth okay so 
द एसिडिक कंडीशन ऑफ द भाजवाइना इज जस्ट इंक्रीज इन केस ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी ओके देन वी स्टडी अवर द यूटरस ओके यूटरस द बॉडी ऑफ द यूटरस एंड लार्ज ओके इज द बेबी इज ग्रोथ इन इन लाइक ए बैक यूटरस इज लाइक ए बैक ओके इन हुईज द बेबी इज बर्न वेन द बेबी इज ग्रोथ इन साइड दैट एंड आफ्टर दैट ही वर्क थ्रू द भाजनल कैनल एंड कम्स आउट थ्रू द ओपनिंग ऑफ द हल्फा ओके इन नॉर्मल डिलीवरी अदरवाइज देर इज सीजरिंग ओके द बॉडी ऑफ यूटरोस इज एनलार्ज मेनली देर इज नो सीमेट्रिकल एनलार्जमेंट इज नॉट टेक्स प्लेस इन केस ऑफ यूटरोस ओके द फंडस ऑफ द फंडस ऑफ द यूटरोस बॉडी body of the fundus is increased uh, enlarged more uh, as the part of the body and uh, the last part okay the changes in muscles there is so many changes in the muscles of the uterus uh, obviously as the baby is growth in the uterus so uh, then the baby uh, contain a more place so that the muscles also uh, require the muscles also get increased some fibers are added and uh, the muscles become uh, stretch okay the hypertrophy and hyperplasia these are occurs un- under influence of the hormones estrogen and progesterone the main role in pregnancy is estrogen and progesterone okay main role is estrogen and progesterone most of the actions most of the changes most of the functions of pure in case of pregnancy is due to the estrogen and progesterone okay what happen here you know what is hypertrophy but uh, what is hyperplasia hyperplasia is the increase in number of cell don't be confused what is hypertrophy and hyperplasia don't be confused can we do in hypertrophy is the increase in cell size but hyperplasia is increase in cell number okay so what happen in uterus due to the effects of the estrogen and progesterone the hypertrophy and hyperplasia takes place and uh, the stretching also takes place okay the muscle fibers further elongate about uh, 20 weeks due to the distension of the growing fetus okay and the wall become thinner and at term measures about 1.5 cm or less then the uterus feels soft elastic contrast and form feel uh, on the non gravid uterus okay then the vascular system in uterus there is marked spiraling at ries reaching the maximum at 20 weeks and thereafter they straighten out uh, generally be- before 20 weeks uh, as the uterus is uh, in uh, normal slightly enlarged so the arteries are uh, present like the spiral okay you can see here in this picture okay that this there is a spiral okay you can see here also in the last normal pregnancy case non gravid case is a spiral but uh, after 20 weeks as the uterus get stressed okay uh, so that uh, becomes the arteries become straighten okay blood flow increased by 8 4 20 weeks of the pregnancy as uh, the placenta needs uh, the f- f- fulfill the placenta and fetus need the uh, the blood supply to the uterus is increased at about 8 fold okay then this vasodilation is mainly due to the estrogen and progesterone don't be confused estrogen and estrogen is not different uh it's commonly same estrogen and estradiol is same okay the vasodilation is uh, mainly due to the estrogen and progesterone effect veins become dilated and are valveless the veins of is uh, the dilation is more so the valves are not closed fully so the dilated are uh, valveless the veins are valveless okay and numerous lymphatic channels open off in case of pregnancy then weight what is the change in weight increase in weight is due to the increased growth of uterine muscle connective tissue and vascular channel okay so the weight of uh, weight is also 
increase and shape non pregnant piriform shape is maintained in yearly month it become globular at 12 weeks the uh, shape is about globular at 12 weeks it has the uterus enlarge the shape once more becomes piriform or ovoid by 28 weeks and changes perical beyond 36 week okay then isthmus you know what is isthmus which area is known as isthmus isthmus is the area with between the anatomical or internal os and histological internal os you can see this area okay this whitish area this whitish area is mark is known as isthmus okay this uh, plays a very great role in pregnancy as uh, it helps us as a sphincter and uh, to leave the baby in uterus okay what happens here in isthmus during the first trimester isthmus hypotrophies and elongate to about three times its original length okay the uh, isthmus in non-pregnant case and the pregnant case of the first trimester is increased elongates about three times and here the hypotrophy also takes place you can see here there is uh, the isthmus is very small size but uh, the first trimester is it's just increased for three times three times okay then becomes softer it's become slightly softer then in second trimester it's developed and in third trimester it's uh, the uh, side of the uterus internal uterus internal os is stretched and it's form the lower part of the uterus okay and it uh, uh, and this act like the sphincter and helps to stay the baby inside the uterus in proper position okay then fallopian tube in fallopian tube the total length is increased and tube become congested listen uh, uh, just a uh, important point uh, the uterus when it in uh, at the last time of our pregnancy uh, is uh, the uterus gets enlarged it occupied the uh, maximum part of our abdomen so it uh, just uh, rotate that's uh, to right side okay that's the dextro rotation what happened the fundus of the uh, fun fundus of the uterus is uh, at the right side and uh, so the cervix occur level rotation okay that's the cervix cervix is present in left side okay is uh, normally what happened you can see just wait Sorry, sorry, sorry. Normally, what happens? Listen, it is our fundus of our body. It is our fallopian tube. Okay. Vaginal. Normally, our uterus is ovary is like this and fallopian tube. And this is the our fallopian tube is in horizontal okay in horizontal position to our body but what happens the uterus become dextro rotation okay so what happened this is our right left okay what happened the uterus is moved like this So here happened dextro rotation. What dextro rotation here? The cervix, okay, the cervix is present levo rotation. Okay, understand? So what happened is is the uterus is moved to horizontal so 
the fallopian tube is present in our body vertically okay understand and the um, is uh, the uh, so um, what happened it's become congested in our abdomen it's present ab uh, vertical in uh, vertically so it's congested okay then what happened the length also increased in fallopian tube then changes in ovary uh, growth and function of the corpus luteum reaches its maximum at eighth week okay generally corpus luteum before the development of the placenta uh, before hand over the function to the placenta corpus luteum is function to produce estrogen and progesterone in case of pregnant women okay uh, after the corpus luteum uh, corpus luteum the placenta uh, take over the charge to secret for us the estrogen and progesterone increase of pregnant women but before that corpus luteum is uh, corpus luteum is meant to secret at estrogen and progesterone okay so the maximum at eighth week and it's then the estrogen and progesterone secretion is takes place by placenta okay then the hormones estrogen and progesterone secreted by the corpus luteum maintain the environment for the growing ovum okay in our normal before pregnancy also in our adolescent girls after puberty what happens they are also taking uh, the estrogen and progesterone also secretion takes place due to the presence of our corpus luteum which helps in the growing of ovum okay after that uh, is the over fertilization takes place up to 8th week uh, the corpus luteum maintain in our body to helps to uh, formation of the placenta gives a best better environment for the fetus and placenta up to 8th week after that it also it have the small then control the formation of and maintenance of the decidua of pregnancy decidua is the uh, layer of the uterus which form after the pregnancy okay, um, means uh, when fertilization takes place for the uh, implantish implantation of the fetus in the uterine wall the decidua is uh, form okay then inhibit ripening of the follicles then breast changes increased size of the breast due to the secretion of the estrogen and progesterone the effect of estrogen and progesterone the breast changes takes place marked hypertrophy and proliferation of the ducts okay what happen you can see in no uh, it's also non lactic thing but uh, in case of pregnancy and it's a lactic thing and go it's very large okay and just uh, in the normal cases the breast is normal it's no uh, the normal adolescent is not feel any discomfort due to the breast but after uh, fertilization during pregnancy uh, the there is uh, many discomforts appear due to the enlargement of breast okay and uh, it's very large uh, after pregnancy uh, after delivery um, as there is lactation takes place okay um, increased rise due to the effect of estrogen and progesterone here the hypertrophy takes place the cell size and the of the breast is increased and the proliferation of the ducts also takes place vascularity is also increased you know uh, in case of pregnancy um, uh, the vascular vascularity is increased in uh, the reproductive organs okay because there is so many takes place uh, changes takes place okay then the nipples become larger erectile and deeply pigmented means uh, in case of uh, normal non pregnant women uh, the nipple is uh, uh, slightly slightly like this normal but uh, uh, when during pregnancy after fertilization uh, the nipple become highly pigmented 
there is the blackness of the nipple uh, and around uh, round section of the nipple is increased the pigmentation and it became, becomes uh, more pigmented and relaxed okay there is uh, you can't uh, find out uh, so many changes in the nipple in the multi paracase you can see very very tit and tit and bit changes in Primi gravida is, uh, is uh, in the primi gravida there is a uh, changes takes place so slightly changes that takes place in the multi gravida okay then cutaneous changes also takes place uh, in case of uh, during pregnancy what happens there is uh, the black marks are appear on the face thigh uh, okay so uh, that's known as cloasma gravidum or pregnancy mask okay it is an extreme form of pigmentation around cheek forehead around eyes thigh okay then abdomen sorry not thigh then abdomen Abdo abdominal changes also takes place but if the uterus is present in our abdomen and the founders of the uterus is uh, growth more so there is must be the change in the abdomen the abdomen become uh, large it becomes stretch the skins of the abdomen become stretch very thin okay then what happened linear nigra nigra you know what is linear nigra uh, in a brownish black pigmented area in the midline stretching from the jaipur jaipur sternum to the symphysis pubis mm, what happened i will see the linear nigra diagram at last by searching the chrome okay linear nigra means what happened uh, here you can't see in this picture mm, there is the, the, you know what is jaipur sternum the jaipoid process of the sternum is the last part of the sternum from that that part of jaipoid sternum area the, in the symphysis species there is a straight line in, uh, in the middle midline of the uh, 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 abdomen okay that's about brownish black color that's known as symphysis pubis that uh, is present uh, in the, the light colored, colored in the non pregnant but when they get pregnant uh, that's become more pigmented that's become brownish black okay that's known as linear nigra and eh? stria gravidum slightly depressed linear marks with varying length and breadth found in pregnancy you can see here in this picture there is a brownish stretch marks in the abdomen okay why that's the these are changes are takes place due to the mechanical changes and due to the increase in allosterone level okay and obviously as the abdomen needs to get enlarged okay so the stretch marks also all must be appear you can see uh, in obesity cases or face obesity patients also you can see this li like this straight mark uh, straight stretch marks okay as uh, so the abdomen uh, gets a large stretch so the stretch marks also appear that's what brownish color known as stria gravidum okay uh, this uh, due to the mechanical changes you always the stretch structure otherwise the other cause of the stria gravidum is the increase in allosterone level okay or remember the other cause of the stria gravidum is increase in allosterone level okay then hematologic changes what happened the blood volume is increased in case of pregnancy as the vascularity is increased about the all reproductive organ what so blood volume is also increased as the blood supply increased towards Uh, genital organs uh, reproductive organs uh, rest blah, blah 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 so what happens is the blood supply increase we the pregnant women require more blood so the blood volume is also increased okay uh, due to the increased vascularity of the enlarging uterus blood volume is markedly rise during pregnancy okay the blood volume starts to increase from about 6th week blood volume is starts increase about 6th week expands rapidly thereafter to maximum 40 to 50% above the non pregnant level at 30 to 32 weeks okay 
about 40 to 45 40 to 50 percent of the blood volume is increased in pregnancy than that of the non-pregnant okay and the plasma volume also changes but starts to increase by six week rate of increase almost parallel to the blood volume he reached to the extent of 50 percent total plasma volume increase to extent 1.25 liter 1.25 liter plasma volume is increased in pregnancy okay then rbc and hemoglobin the rbc mass is increased to the extent of 20 to 30 percent okay the increased demand of oxygen transport during pregnancy okay then disproportionate increase in plasma and rbc value produce state of hemodilution we know what is hemodilution hemodilution is that it work it is the ratio between the sorry hematocrit hemodilution what happen when the rbc volume is less and the other components of the blood is high okay as compared to the other components of the blood um, the ratio of the rbc is low that's known as hemodilution you know what is fall in hematocrit hematocrit is the ratio between the rbc volume and the other part other components of the blood if that is uh, 25 is to 75 then 25 percent is rbc and 75 percent is other components of the blood okay then sb also is about two gram percentage fall from the non-pregnant value uh, as the iron requirement you know um, uh, in case of pregnancy the iron tablet is uh, provided by the physician to maintain the proper iron level of our body okay normally the hemoglobin level is uh, decreased to 2 gram percentage from the non-pregnant then total plasma protein increase from the, the plasma protein value is increased from normal 180 gram and non-pregnant to 30 gram in, uh, in uh, the normal non-pregnant woman the pl total plasma protein is 180 gram but uh, it's increased to 230 gram due to the hemodilution increase plasma volume the plasma protein concentration falls from 7 gram to 6 gram percentage okay then blood coagulation factor pregnancy is a hypercoagulable level state you must remember pregnancy is a hypercoagulable state okay plasma fibrinogen increases from the third month of the pregnancy mm. about uh, the clotting factors are increased in pregnancy Sli there is a slightly decrease in some of the clotting factors okay then metabolic changes in pregnancy then general metabolic changes what happen total metabolism is increased due to the needs of the growing fetus and the uterus the metabolism is generally increased due to the need of fetus and placenta okay then basal metabolic rate is increased to extent of 30 percent bmr is also increased then protein metabolism positive nitrogenous balance throughout the pregnancy at term the fetus and the placenta contain about 500 gram of protein okay and the maternal gain maternal gain is also about 500 uh, this listen uh, the fetus and placenta contains about 500 gram of protein so the metal gain, maternal gain is also about 500 gram of protein okay then carbohydrate metabolism hyperplasia and hypertrophy of the beta cell of the pancreas increased insulin level favors lipogenesis this mechanism ensures continuously supply of the glucose to the fetus okay what happened in crab carbohydrate metabolism the as the fetus is gross it required many glucose okay the transfer of increased amount of glucose from mother to fetus is needed throughout the pregnancy okay so what happens increase the insulin secretion in response to the glucose and amino acid and what happened there is due to the increase in insulin level the fat storage takes less okay then during maternal fasting 
mother reason the mother feels hypoglycemia hypoinsulinemia hyperlipidemia and hyperketonemia and plasma glucagon level remain unchanged and fat metabolism an average of 3 to 4 kg of the fat is stored during pregnancy mostly in the abdominal wall breast hip and thigh okay when increased plasma lipid and lipoprotein in level is also in the latter field half of the pregnancy then iron metabolism total iron requirement during pregnancy is estimated approximately 1000 milligram okay mm, iron absorbed in fit of ferrous form okay from duodenum and jejunum and released into circulation is transferring about 10 percent of the ingested iron is absorbed iron is freed from transferrin is incorporated into hemoglobin about 75 percent and iron transported actively across placenta and of fetus okay then total iron requirement during pregnancy is estimated approximately thousand milligram okay and uh, during pregnancy the women also save 300 milligram of the iron is there is amenorrhea what three hundred gram store you to what amino yeah okay then in the absence of iron supplement there is drop in hemoglobin serum iron serum ferritin concentration hmm. in absence of iron supplementation also drop in hemoglobin serum iron serum protein at term pregnancy thus pregnancy is inevitable iron deficiency state okay then but uh, remember that placenta is uh, not lazy okay uh, placenta transfer adequate amount of the iron to fetus despite of several maternal iron deficiency as a uh, mother is in fasting or uh, there is iron deficiency takes less but the placenta tries to supply as he can as the placenta can okay placenta asks his own asks his best to supply the iron to the fetus and thus there is no correlation with the HB concentration hemoglobin concentration between mother and fetus uh, if uh, there is a small amount of iron uh, present in mother then the placenta takes that iron and gives to the plas um, fetus okay no need what happens to mother but uh, I am the placenta I am I have to give nourish to my baby that's fetus so I don't know what happens to mother mother but I have to give to fetus so I must give okay <laughs> like that the placenta takes all the irons maybe if it is high then there is the irons of uh, level is normal in mother otherwise the placenta takes the required amount of iron to the fetus so there is uh, no relation of the correlation of the hemoglobin concentration between mother and baby okay and then calcium metabolism and locomotor system relaxation of the pelvic ligament and muscle occurs because of the influence of the estrogen and relaxin reaches maximum during last weeks of the pregnancy okay increased lumbar lordosis during the later month of the pregnancy okay lumbar lordosis takes place uh, as the fetus if the baby is grow in the womb okay due to weight oh, pregnancy due to the enlarged uterus back egg wedding gait this are takes place in the locomotor system and then systemic changes in pregnancy okay at first we discuss about the respiratory system progressive increase in oxygen consumption which is caused by the increased metabolic needs of the mother and fetus is the uterus is enlarged what happens the elevation of diaphragm takes place about 4 cm so there is uh, in pregnancy that what happened the total lung capacity is decreased about 
फाइव परसेंट ओके डिक्रीज डॉक्टर लंग कैपेसिटी अबाउट फाइव परसेंट एंड द टोटल पलमोनारी रेजिस्टेंस ड्यू टू द प्रोजेस्टिरोन इफेक्ट द टोटल पलमोनारी रेजिस्टेंस इज आल्सो डिक्रीज यू नो एज द डायफागम देर इज सम चेंजेस इन डायफागम एंड लंग कैपेसिटी इज डिक्रीज सो द पलमोनारी रेजिस्टेंस इज ऑल्सो डिक्रीज ओके देन नाजोफारिन म्यूकोस इज इटमाटस हाइपोरेमिक यू यू मे मार्क दैट इन केस ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी देर इज सो मेनी कोल्स इन ट्रेन एंड वोमेंस दे फील मेनी टाइम्स कोल्ड इफ दे एक्सपोज टू अबाउट वन टू टू आवर ऑफ द वाटर 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 वन दे गेट्स कोल्ड वेरी इजीली ओके इनक्रीज ऑक्सीजन डिमांड द स्टेट ऑफ द हाइपर वेंटिलेशन अकर ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी लीडिंग टू इनक्रीज द टाइडल वॉल्यूम ओके द वुमेन फील्स शॉर्टनेस ऑफ द ब्रीथ इज हाइपर वेंटिलेशन टेक्स प्लेस द शॉर्टनेस ऑफ द ब्रीथ इज टेक्स प्लेस इन वुमेन देन टू हट कार्डी हॉस्कुलर सिस्टम ओके द हार्ट द ग्रोइंग यूटरस पुसेस द हार्ट अपवर्ड एंड द एंड टू द लेफ्ट ओके द इज द यूटरस ग्रोस इट पुस द हार्ट टू हार्ट्स लेफ्ट सो यू कैन क्लिनिकली यू कैन फील द एपिकल पॉल्स कैन फील द पालपिटेशन ओके ड्यूरिंग द प्रेगनेंसी द हार्ट रेट एंड द स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम द एमाउंट ऑफ द ब्लड पम्प स्ट्रोक वॉल व्हाट इज स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम द एमाउंट ऑफ द ब्लड पम्प बाय हार्ट विथ इच बीट ओके इंक्रीज ड्यू टू द इंक्रीज ब्लड वॉल्यूम एंड ऑक्सीजन रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द मटर्नल टिश्यू एंड ग्रोइंग फिटर्स ओके देन कार्डियक आउटपुट इंक्रीज मार्कली बाय द एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट ट्राइमिस्टर कार्डियक आउटपुट इज इंक्रीज मार्कली more in case of the first trimester in the third trimester a rise fall or no change at all has been so to occur depending on the individual variable as uh, the baby is fully grow the placenta needs uh, less circulation less blood for circulation uh, so um, maybe the cardiac output is uh, not changed the static state not rise a small rise okay the capacity of veins and venules increase as the vascularity increased like that for the oxygenation of the blood also the return of the blood is also very important so the veins and venules is also increase as you you know where is the veins venules are present artery first the aorta then artery then arteriole then arteriole and venules the arteriole and venules are mixed up to form the capillary then from the venules that becomes the veins as the blood blood is blood vascularity is increased so the arteriole venules all their capacity are also increased okay arterial walls relax and dilate due to the effect of the progesterone oh. and so the vascularity is also increased the increased production of the vasodilator prostaglandin also contributes to this dilation of the arterial wall okay then blood pressure during the mid trimester changes in blood pressure may occur causing fainting okay इन लेटर प्रेगनेंसी हाइपोटेंशन मे अकर इन टेन परसेंट ऑफ द वुमेन इन अनसपोर्टेड सुपाइन पोजिशन दिस टर्म इज सुपाइन हाइपोटेंसिव सिंड्रोम इन इन दिस केस व्हाट हैपेंस द मदर व्हेन इन सुपाइन पोजिशन द कैन ओवरकम दैट ओके देन दैट हैपी द हाइपोटेंशन ओके एज द हार्ट इज पू स्टॉप वार्ड टू द लेफ्ट देर इज अ कम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ द फॉर द फॉर द हार्ट टू पम्प फुली ओके सो देर आर द सुपाइन हाइपोटेंसिव सिंड्रोम द प्रेशर ऑफ द ग्राविड यूटर कॉम्प्रेसिस द भेनेका वा एंड रिड्यूसिंग द भेनस रिट ओके एंड दू नो एज द और एबडोमिनल इज प्रेजेंट 
behind and the our what that inferior vena cava is present at the uterus size is enlarged the it compresses our inferior vena cava okay it is reduced the venous return you can see sometimes there is a edematous you can uh, normally uh, the leg edematous is uh, seen in case of pregnancy okay then cardiac output is reduced by 25 to 30 percent and the blood pressure may fall 10 to 15 percent then we saw the urinary system changes but at first we discuss about the kidney dilution of the uterus and renal pelvic and calicious sex less and the kidney enlarges in length by 1 cm. Okay, kidney also enlarges in length by 1 cm. Then the glomerular filtration rate is increased by 50% all throughout the pregnancy. Renal plasma flow increased by 50 to 75% maximum by 16 weeks. Then the reabsorption of the glucose, amino acid, uric acid is decreased. And in uterus, what happens? The uterus become atonic due to the high progesterone level and the dilution of the ureter sorry ureters become atonic due to the high progesterone level and the dilution of the ureter above the pelvic brim you know what is rim the when there is the pelvic bone you can see there is the inlet of the brim and outlet of the brim that's the whole present in the pelvic bone is known as brim okay above the pelvic brim with stratus is marked and the right side especially preminagra what happens that uh, hypotrophy of the muscles also takes place in ureter then bladder bladder increased frequency of the maturation is noticed at six to eight weeks of the pregnancy which subside after 12 weeks and it let pregnancy is the uterus grows up it compresses the bladder also it uh, so the bladder capacity is uh, decreased so the increase the micturation frequency of micturation okay then stress incontinence may observe in late pregnancy and due to the urethral sphincter weakness okay in late pregnancy what happens the bladder mucosa become edematous due to the venous lymphatic obstruction especially in premature so the stress incontinence absorbs due to the urethral sphincter weakness also okay then we discuss about what elementary system gums become congested and spongy and may bleed to touch due to the hormonal changes during pregnancy makes gum more sensitive to the bacteria and in and in a plague uh, bacteria in plague so uh, there ha there appeared the uh, congestion in the gums and spongy and it may bleed to touch and we, we touch uh, there is uh, any infection we touch the gum then there is bleeding takes place then risk of peptic ulcer disease is reduced the peptic ulcer disease risk is reduced then atonicity of the gut leads to constipation diminished peristalsis facility peristalsis movement in the gut causes constipation okay then dyspepsia indigestion also takes place and diminished gastric secretion and delayed emptying time of the stomach okay then liver and gallbladder what happens in liver and gallbladder liver functions is depressed okay liver is not so active so liver function is depressed uh, liver uh, just to feel how oh, i am very lazy or i am very weak i have not to do anything i just want to rest take rest okay like that the liver function are depressed hmm? the high blood cholesterol level during pregnancy favor storm formation may happens may happens okay but there is no any histological changes in liver cell but functions are depressed okay and uh, mild, mild cholestasis also takes place estrogen to the estrogen effect and the atonicity of the bladder is also takes place then the changes in the nervous system what happens the 
temperamental changes are found during pregnancy and in the puerperium what is puerperium after delivery okay temperamental changes also takes place the nausea vomiting mental irritability sleep disorders okay these are also takes place then postpartum blues depression and psychosis takes place paresthesia sensory loss over the anterior lateral aspect of thigh these are also takes place due to the nervous system changes okay Car carpal tunnel syndrome is sometimes takes place okay then weight gain in early weeks the patient may lose weight because of nausea and vomiting at first after the fertilization you know you can uh, you may see in, in movies also that uh, after the heroine gets pregnant uh, also uh, any woman in the movie get pregnant um, then uh, she just go to vomit after that uh, the husband of the woman know that uh, my wife is get pregnant okay after our uh, that after our gatash <laughs> that uh, my woman my my wife get pregnant and normally uh, if uh, we see that uh, the woman goes uh, with severe vomiting um, but uh, at that time we know that the uh, woman gets pregnant okay uh, so the woman at the first we are early weeks loss is weight lost her weight due to the nausea and vomiting also okay then during subsequent months after the the first or second week after the early weeks what happens the weight gain is progressive until the last one or two weeks okay then when the weight remains static then the total weight gain during the course of the single ton pregnancy for healthy women average 11 kg okay uh, about the reach uh, 11 kg of um, of weight is increased in the pregnancy then distribute uh, to 1 kg in first trimester and 5 kg in each second and third trimester what happen the weight gain is uh, 11 kg during the whole pregnancy there is a uh, 1 kg increased in the first trimester 5 kg increased in second trimester and 5 kg in third trimester okay then i want to say you something more okay there is some also changes in the endocrine system also in pregnancy okay what are that the human growth hormone is suppressed okay uh, human growth hormone is suppressed insulin resistance also takes place okay what happens in thyroid function also changes little in case of pregnancy an increase corticosteroid aldosterone angiotensin and renin levels and high level of circulating human chorionic gonadotropin you know what is the uh, how can uh, you know that uh, it's the pre how a woman gets confirmed that uh, she is pregnant at first you know you know all know that there is pregnant kit they uh, they check by using the urine okay here uh, in the urine which level is high for which we uh, gets that the uh, women get pregnant okay at the time what happen in urine the human chorionic gonadotropin level is increased so uh, due to uh, through the pregnant kit also in home the women can uh, confirm that she is pregnant okay uh, so during pregnancy what happen after fertilization the human chorionic gonadotropin level is uh, increased in blood and urine okay then what happens also the corpus luteum secretion of the estrogen and progesterone in the first trimester until the placenta becomes able to produce the hormone and then human chorionic gonadotropin is normally disappear from urine 7 to 10 days after delivery of the placenta okay the human chorionic gonadotropin level is normally present in the pregnant woman during whole pregnancy but after 7 to 10 days of uh, the delivery the human chorionic gonadotropin is generally disappear 
what is the function of uh, the human coronary gonadotropin in the late pregnancy okay the human coronary gonadotropin controls the placental secretion of the estrogen and progesterone okay and suppress the maternal immune system against fetus you know there is the blood groups positive negative okay uh, if if the mother have positive may just consider mother have o positive okay but the fetus grows in the mother's womb is b negative then is this is the rsp plus factor this is the rs negative uh, mother have rs positive factor and the fetus have rs negative factor then then there is uh, maybe the immune system appears for which the uh, it uh, destroy so the hemoglobin gonadotropin helps to suppress the maternal immune system against fetus okay then the human coronary gonadotropin is generally disappear after 7 to 10 days now overall the physiological changes during pregnancy is over thank you all for all of you for giving the available times and if have any doubt send me in comment i will try my best to clear your doubt okay and because us is a health personnel we have to know about all clearly about the changes what we have to do what we have to not do what are the changes so you shan if having any doubt just comment it i will try my best to solve your problems and give you the better answer okay thank you everybody thank you